And thanks so much for staying with us here in the big show. Since 2020, State Treasurer David McCray has returned about $100 million in unclaimed funds to Mississippi residents. He's on the coast working that today, and we have him here in the 4 o'clock show to talk more about this unclaimed money. Treasurer, good to see you. How well, good you to see you. Appreciate it. Glad to be here. Thanks for the invitation to be on, on air today. Yeah, $100 million. That's, that's a large chunk of money. But I'm always curious. How is that money unclaimed? What variety? Just give us a couple of examples. Well, so we, the best example is like a security deposits people put down for electricity. They move, they go away. We've had a lot of wills in the state, a ton of uh, life insurance policies lately. We gave back to, uh, two eight hundred thousand dollar claims last year. Wow! And uh, today, uh, someone had one hundred twenty thousand uh, dollars that was given that they knew they had, but they weren't they weren't sure how to get it. Uh, we've been doing this kind of traveling road show around the state since we hit $100 million. Uh, we started in Jackson, went to South Haven, Tupelo, Hattiesburg. We're ending today. Uh, You're ending down here in God's country. That's the, right. We ended Gulf up Coast. in the best place possible. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, and uh, and in here on the, on the 4 o'clock show. You know, during the time that money is sitting, it's in some kind of account or fund, isn't it, where it's That's gaining right. interest? That's right. It gains interest. And if uh, your account uh, is one that gains interest, we pay you that interest back. So, and it's non-tax. So, you get your money plus a little extra. And, you know, the average Mississippian has roughly $2,000 waiting to be claimed by them. One in 10 Mississippians have unclaimed money waiting. We have roughly $400 million total in the bank waiting to be claimed by Mississippians and uh, we, we want to give that back. Is there kind of a, for lack of a better phrase, a statute of limitations on uh, when people can collect that money? So in Mississippi, if it's a non tax return, there is no statute of limitations. It will be there forever. Uh, most states have a statute of limitations. We don't do that. But if it's a tax return, you need to claim it within four years or it'll go back to the state and there's nothing I can do about that. So how do people find out? I mean, I imagine they go online and what do they put in the search bar to see if they might be in that number? So you go to treasury.ms.gov. You go to the unclaimed money section, type in your name, and if you have a business, type in your business. And if that's you, click that's me, and fill out just a couple little forms. It's easy, a little bit of information. Send that in, and if it's an easy claim, we'll process it really quick, get it back to you as soon as possible. If it's a little bit more complicated, like a wills in a state or life insurance or someone who's passed, uh, we'll, we'll contact the Is individual. Is anything ever contested? Uh, we have some wills and estates that yeah. get a little bit more difficult when you have two individuals who think it's theirs and, you know, we have to go and make sure it's, you know, whose it is and all that. That's human nature, David. Well, you know. So, so college savings program, while we have you here, I want to talk about that because I've always thought it was one of the best bargains in the state. But it kind of fell into a little bit of, I don't want to say insolvency, but it, it had some it problems. Almost, and you're bringing it back? It almost did. It, uh, the, the, there was a problem. When I got in, uh, it is... First and foremost, it is the best deal possible you can get for someone that's going to college. If it costs a dollar a day to go to college and you get in the prepaid plan, it'll cost a dollar tomorrow. Tuitions are going up. You've seen it. Every college has raised their tuition. Now, it did have a little problem when I took over in 19 and uh, elected in 19 and took over in 20. The old fund, which was the legacy fund that was uh, shut down in 13, it was only 77% funded. Man. Now. The new number of fundage for it is 99.7% funded. Well, it's and come a long four way. four years, it is to almost 100% funded. And again, anyone who has one of the older programs, you don't have to worry about well, it. Well, I'm going online right after the show, and I'm going to see if there's some unclaimed money out there with Dave Elliott's name on it. Well, we should. If it, okay. if it is, we're going to get it to you. All righty. David McRae, State right. Treasurer, Appreciate down it. from the capital city. Always good to see you, Dave. Great.